Hi, this is David Erickson with Doc Silver Copper Top Mask on YouTube. All right, we're on the uh, University of Massachusetts Amherst uh, College of Natural Sciences, the coronavirus upstate, the stay at home advisory, and, and so forth on the Amherst um, residence halls and so forth remain closed. And now we're talking about the copper mask, a hopeful weapon against the COVID-19 uh, virus. Uh, microbiologist invents a reusable face mask made out of copper, a material known to kill bacteria, inactive respiratory viruses, including the coronavirus. April 13th, 2020. Seven years ago, before the coronavirus outbreak spread globally, Illumina uh, Phyllis Kuhn saw a need for a product, product that could keep her healthy while traveling. Kuhn estimates that she caught a cold nearly half of the time she traveled by plane, leaving her sick for two or three weeks at a time. As a University of Massachusetts Amherst Microbiology MS and PhD holder, with decades of experience in medical research, she knew that there had to be a solution. Therefore, she began her mission to develop a face mask more effective than the standard ones on the market. To do this, she harnessed the potent sanitation and anti-inflammatory capabilities of the element that was longtime interest of hers, copper. Two years later, she made what is today known as the well mask. Subsequently, she developed the copper mesh insert, the CMI, for use beneath a regular mass and converting it into a, a sedol, killing an inactivating mass for extra protection. Copper first piqued Kuhn's interest early in her career while working at the head of the Hammett Medical Center a Microbiology Department in Erie, Pennsylvania in the 1980s. Finding from a student's research project revealed that the, the brass doorknobs produced scarce growth, whereas stainless steel produced a large number of different types of microbes. Upon further investigation, Kuhn found that copper, the killing component of brass, could disinfect itself from microbes within a few minutes. Kuhn thought that copper was the ideal material for protective mass due to its Sedel properties. Copper kills bacteria and inactivates viruses, rendering them harmless. Kuhn explains, literature supports that copper inactivates coronavirus and almost all other respiratory viruses on contact. Currently, no clinical trials are available on the well mask or the CMI and the coronavirus. Kuhn went through several iterations of, of the mask before landing on a design that was both practical and comfortable for the wearer. Today, well mask is made of 99.9% pure copper mesh, and the mesh has a 30% open weave to make it e easy to breathe through. Unlike the single-use paper face mask that many people wear during the flu season or while traveling, the well mask is reusable. The, mat, the mask was, has a two-year shelf life, but its Sedel activity never wears out. An in-house test found that the mask Sedel activity kills 90% of the microbes within five minutes of contact. Kuhn is no stranger to the product development, and after completing her PhD in UMass, she began her career as a clinical microbiologist at Hammett Medical Center in Erie, Pennsylvania, where she worked for 18 years. She later developed the Hammett Research Center and spent 14 years assisting hospital personnel with publications and grants. In her retirement from the medical center, Kuhn founded the Lake Erie Research Institute and helped research with medical research and product development. A product like the well mask could prove critical during the coronavirus outbreak. Despite quarantines and social distancing, there is still widespread concern over potential contracting the virus while shopping for groceries, prescriptions, and other essential provisions. Those worries 
or these worries are compounded by sanitation and protective gear shortages in hospitals nationwide. Wearing a copper mask could help prevent the spread of the virus when people are out in public. Since well masks and CMIs have a two-year shelf life, mass production of the masks and CMIs could help cut down on gear shortages too. Many paper masks on the market are single use and because they cannot be sanitized, unlike Kuhn's masks, which are easy to clean, well masks and CMIs can be disinfected immediately and when cleaned with isopropyl alcohol. Healthcare professionals can autoclave the mask and make inserts without harming the copper and ear loops or moleskin or the moleskin adhesive. Uh, Kuhn adds that the mask copper mesh allows for a minuscule amount of copper to be deposited in the uh, nasal pharyngeal, excuse me if I mispronounce it, probably did, the NP area, potentially killing viruses and stimulating an anti-inflammatory response without the use of drugs. Test inductively, coupled with plasma mass spectrometry, ICP-MS, have confirmed copper's effect with deposited, when deposited in the NP area. Since viruses can enter the body through the nostrils, this feature is particularly important. Well masks are also water resistant to protect the wear from germs spread through the sneezes. 2017 Kuhn founded Kuhn Copper Solutions to support development of the well mask. To date, the mask has design and provisional patents and has pending utility patents at this time. The United States Food and Drug Administration has not cleared the well mask for or CMIs for public use. A few months ago, Kuhn partnered with Tampa-based facility Quest Incorporated as a sheltered workshop that provides employment for people with development disabilities. Kuhn continues to see increased interest in well masks, both nationally and internationally. Currently, she's in communication with several larger manufacturers that have expressed interest. She is also considering working with more sheltered workshops to ramp up production. Either way, Kuhn looks forward to producing well masks and CMIs on a larger scale to make them more accessible to consumers, healthcare professionals, and the like. We shared this story uh, with you to let you know that copper has shown that it is, is effective to making the coronavirus and other viruses and microbacterial uh, micro, uh, uh, harmful to the humans inactive. And, uh, and it does it all naturally. I hope this information was beneficial to you. And until next time, this is David Erickson with DocSilverCoppertopMedicalWare.com. Thank you.